Boston Red here. This is a special presentation. Ed Snowden at the New Yorker Film Festival. It's an interesting situation, an interview with him, which you will hear in other um, edited versions. You will hear parts of his interview and other material that we uh, supply. Let's get to this. Ed Snowden gave the interview, and he talked about personal in, uh encryption and that has been something that uh, has been bantied around for a very long time he also warned uh, users to stay away from things like Dropbox, Facebook and Google now he was on Google Hangout this is this is one of the things I want to make clear that Ed Snowden uh, is, is no doubt uh, agnostic as to what services he uses to get his message out. You cannot be a total anarchist or, or one that is so bent that you will not use Facebook if it means getting out the information to Facebook followers or to Google for search or for Google for their uh, hangouts and of course they own YouTube. So when you start talking about these monopoly corporations, you have to uh, understand the nature of the beast. That's sort of like a fellow once told me that he didn't vote. And I asked him the reason there. He said, well, that was a capitalist thing. Yes, it is. And the Koch brothers understand that uh, particular situation. And then we went on to uh, talk to this fellow about his ideology. And it turned out... He was a very conservative person. So in other words, his not voting, uh, a personal thing, but influencing other people to do it, was uh, working uh, for the party of Pat Buchanan. That's a little different kind of situation. Now, there are many ways of affecting things, such as the uh, movement, uh, the Ferguson movement now, uh, mass demonstrations around St. Louis and in Ferguson, Missouri, Those are the kinds of things that uh, bring about a social change. Uh, Ferguson is an element just like uh, Mr. Uh, Snowden and his fight against the NSA, CIA, and various other marauders out there, the uh, Monopoly uh, phone companies, Comcast. This is all a movement uh, to bring about more democratic uh, forms of behavior within the society and one of the things that came out here now apple says as far as their product in other words from your iphone uh, to of uh, their servers it's totally encrypted and also at the same time whatever key you have it's what they use two-factor security your password plus obviously some type of number and that uh, Apple does not have the key, nor does anyone else. And Android is uh, is also moving in that direction. From the interview, he said, first, uh, answer call for reform government policies. Some people take the position that this doesn't have anything, uh, they don't have anything to hide. But, but he argues that when uh, you say that uh, you are investing the model of responsibility uh, for how rights work, Inverting, I'm sorry. Uh, that That is true. Um, it's one of those things out there, and uh, this was uh, from uh, TechCrunch. They now call themselves TC. They are uh, a technology site that uh, receives sponsorship and, and so forth from these various other characters on the scene. Nonetheless, uh, he added at an individual level, people should seek out encrypted tools and stop using services that are hostile, hostile to privacy. There's no doubt about that. And uh, you should get rid of Dropbox because it doesn't support uh, encryption. You should consider alternatives. Spider Oak uh, made similar comments in the summer. Dropbox responded uh, you know, on their blog, uh, Dropbox actually said all files sent and retrieved from uh, Dropbox are encrypted while traveling between you and our servers, as well as when uh, they rest on the server and points to other security measures the company has taken. The difference between Dropbox and Spider Oak 
As explained elsewhere, his spider oak encrypts the data while it's on your computer as opposed to on in, encryption in transit to the uh, company uh, servers. So this this is a situation, and we looked at uh, the two he talks about here, uh, Red Phone and, uh, let me get back here, Red Phone and Silent Circle, um, two of those uh, out here, and of course the Spider Oak. Now, the uh, Silent Circle is one that you purchase plans uh, in it, and we... We talked about uh, it here before, and I think they have a starter plan at about $10. That'll give you 100 out of circle uh, calling minutes, uh, $12.95. An immediate plan at $19.95 gives you $250. And for roughly $25, you get 50 out of, uh, out of circle calling minutes. Make calls to uh, 120 destinations. It's unlimited to receive calls and, and to members, and you can get a thousand uh, minutes of, uh, for forty dollars. So this is the Silent Circle uh, plan, and from Whisper Systems, this is the one that uh, has the uh, iOS and Android uh, encryption, encrypted communications and storage. Our project. It's an open source project, incidentally. Is a source for all uh, projects is open, but anyone can either verify they work. It's advertised. Uh, it's under the uh, GPL uh, version free license. You'll also hear this as a part of our open source report. So it will be there in edited form. This part will be there. You can install it on Android. Uh, use a default dialer and uh, contact uh, apps to make calls as you normally would. Red phone will give you an opportunity to upgrade to encrypted calls uh, whenever uh, possible. Use normal phone numbers here and private text and chat for Android. Uh, text secure uh, here also you can you can uh, install it on your uh, on your phone. And let me just uh, get over here to about this is Whisper Systems mission to make private communication simple whisper systems is both a large community of open source uh, contributors as well as a small team of dedicated uh, developers together we are working to advance the state uh, of the art for secured communities which simultaneously make it easy for everyone uh, to use and it lists uh, the people are you owned by twitter no are you a commercial project nope uh can you read my messages no way and uh, they list uh, some of the uh, people involved here. And if you go to their blog, free uh, worldwide encrypted calls uh, from iPhone, want everyone to have access to advanced uh, secure communication tools. Uh, over the past year, we've been working to bring uh, the privacy software we developed for Android to the iPhone. So it's nice that they started out over there. And Whisper Systems, we believe users should have both privacy, so they release something called Flock as private uh, contact and calendar cloud, private meeting messages, and new uh, secure text beyond S&M. So, uh, SMS. <laughs> I made that mistake before. So, those are some of the uh, things out there. His live stream, of course, you can find it at YouTube and see him of uh, the New Yorker and their uh, film festival. Let me just get back here uh, to uh, one one other item here as part of the New Yorker uh, film festival, and it's not found. Well, it figures, but nonetheless, it was part of the festival, and they open up talking about the film about Mr. Uh, Snowden and. Uh, his uh, work in this field and how he got involved, how it evolved, uh, that he ended up in Tokyo and finally ended up in Moscow. So this in itself uh, is very interesting. Jane Mayer uh, did the interview uh, there, and they even talked about drinking vodka. Mr. Uh, Snowden is a teetotaler. 
So it is some interesting things in here. And he also gives example of other people, Chelsea Manning, uh, Dr. Ellsberg, how they tried literally to put him in jail for the rest of his life. Fortunately, now he's about 80 or in his 80s, and he is a free man. So some of these, some of these situations out here uh, are a little, are a little different. And the as far as the enhancement of public privacy, no doubt Ed Snowden has done a lot in that particular field uh, to bring it uh, out uh, for other people, and more products are. Uh, coming around uh, his particular uh, situation. Just looking at the film festival here and some of the films um, from the uh, New Yorker here and various uh, films that uh, they have uh, brought out here as as uh, as part of of what uh, they are uh, doing. The uh, New York Film Festival, world's best uh, TV and films, and some of the winners here uh, that uh, are are here uh, and in various. Uh, well, they actually got the the man. Oh well. Anyway, uh, trying to get the films here. These are the people that actually made the films, and I was actually. Uh, looking here uh, to find out what the uh, films were themselves. So a little bit kind of different situation here involved uh, in it uh, as far as uh, what the films uh, were. uh, And it doesn't say, it just says the makers of the films and that was really not what uh, we, we wanted here. But his film uh, was there, and he was, of course, part of it, uh, Mr. Snowden, that is, and various awards, and uh, they're still calling for entries for that part of it. But anyway, with Ed Snowden and the various people uh, surrounding uh, his uh, efforts there, as this thing uh, continues on, the 2014, now they will have a 2015 uh, out here also, and we're not uh, concerned here, at least not in our part as to who, uh, whom I should say, uh, would be in uh, the uh, new new version of what is going on here. We'll just deal with uh, the present, and uh, it's Snowden's, uh, I think it's called Four, that they introduced, and one of the films that won in is a um, a microcosm of films that are here, but it's a little bit more than behind uh, just just this festival. It's behind a community and the community uh, that is trying to further citizen privacy. And we went into some of the tools. Open source is a major factor in this movement, as it is in uh, many other uh, movements. So it's on to Ed Snowden. This is the complete interview. Enjoy. Good day. This is on, incidentally, the 12th of October, 2014. I hope you understand that contacting you is extremely high risk. For now, know that every border you cross, every purchase you make, every call you dial, every cell phone tower you pass, friend you keep, site you visit and the subject line you type is in the hands of a system whose reach is unlimited but whose safeguards are not in the end if you publish the source material i will likely be immediately implicated i ask only that you ensure this information makes it home to the american public thank you and be careful citizen four sorry i don't know anything about you okay um I work for... Uh, sorry, I don't know who you name. Oh, sorry. I, uh, my name is Edward Snowden. Uh, I go by Ed. Um, Edward Joseph Snowden's the full name. So, I think Citizen Four is no, 
amazing in capturing in real time what was going on in that Moscow hotel room. And I think one thing it may put to bed are any um, concerns that some people have had.